Hello everyone, this is Jacqueline Official and I'm going to show you today how to do live streaming by using your mobile phone. Check this out. The first thing that you need to do is to download an app which is for the live streaming. So I'm gonna use the Streamlabs. yes this is the app that you need to download for live streaming so i already downloaded we just need to click open when you open the stream labs you will see there the login page which is you can see the login with twitch facebook youtube and any other platform that you can do the live streaming so Today, I'm going to use the YouTube, so just wait for a moment because I'm going to log in my Google account for us to go through YouTube. So as you can see on the screen on the top right side, you will see the button to choose the camera selection. Okay, so it's up to you if you want front camera, back camera, and back telephoto camera. So today I'm gonna use the back camera because I don't need the camera because I'm going to do the live streaming which is silent live streaming. So that's it. So the next one you will see there there is a two line on the top left side. Yes, that is the one. There you can see the settings editor multi-stream screen capture fact support and remote control so the next one is the editor i will go to the editor because i need to put my thumbnail so this is the one yes that is the editor so there you will see the chat box alert box and event list on the side on the top there is a box which is you can click and you will see the layers so now when you click that add button you will see the widget where you can see the add text and add image so add image so when you click the add image it will show you this streamlabs library and device storage okay I will choose the device storage because my thumbnail is there. So add image, device storage. As you can see, you I already add my thumbnail. So I'm I will just drag it into full screen. And that's it. There is the add button where you can lock your image and unlock it and even to resize your image okay and there is also a customized image where you can put showing on stream showing on preview and delete it when you're done doing live streaming so now we are done with the thumbnail placing the thumbnail so we can proceed to screen capture okay that is screen capture there you can see where is the destination of your live streaming so now you need to click the destination and here you will see the youtube destination where you will see the active event upcoming event and create event now we need to create an event for us to do the live streaming so i will show you here how i create my events okay create events title description
and of course you have to put the access where you can see the public unlisted and private so you have to put the public that's it you already created an event to your live streaming so now you just need to put it either on silent or on mic on volume okay you will just click that one and then there you can see the chat box okay you can enable and then that's it just click the red button on the middle and you are on live thank you i hope you like this video and if you have any question just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i love you and god bless everyone